So finally into 1.7, no more talking about numbers specifically, but how can we manipulate them to our advantage or any kind of expression to our advantage in algebra? So that first example, for instance, x plus x plus x, and we have three, four, five of them. How could I rewrite that in a more condensed way? I have five terms of x that are involved, and we have addition, so it's not x to the fifth, if they're being multiplied we could do that, but addition. So I have five factors of x, that's what that's telling us. Or that other example, five over two x, we could rewrite as five x over two x squared. One of them is simplified, the first one, the second one is not. Although those two are equivalent, what can't happen still? x cannot be equal to 0. Cannot let x be equal to 0 as the expression would be undefined. So we still have those little pieces to watch out for. What is legal to plug in? What isn't? So two expressions that have the same value for all allowable replacements, so zero would not be an allowable replacement there, they are called equivalent. Okay, you'll see that term a lot. So first, additive identity property of zero. What is the additive identity? What can I add to A without changing it and get A back out? What value? Zero. It's the additive identity. It's not going to change it. And what is the multiplicative identity? So if I take a and multiply by something, and I get out a again, what value do I need to multiply by? One. So again, additive identity, multiplicative identity. Here's the difference. So write a fraction expression equivalent to 8 thirteenths with a denominator 13y. So 8 thirteenths, I want to write it equivalently with a denominator, 13y. So, to turn 13 into 13y, what do I have to do? To multiply by a factor of y, but whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. Because again, what are we multiplying by? What is the same thing divided by the same thing? 1. So, equivalently, 8 thirteenths is the same as 8y over 13y. What about 3 fourths? If I want to rewrite that with a denominator of 16, to turn 4 into 16, I have to multiply by a factor of 4. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. So equivalently, 3 over 4 is the same as 12 over 16. Simplified, not simplified. Simplified, not simplified. All right, one for you to try. Write a fraction expression equivalent to 3y over 5 with a denominator of 5x. So, what did you have to multiply 5 by to turn into 5x? Factor of x, and x can't be 0 since I'm introducing it in the denominator now. And again, whatever I do at the bottom, I have to do to the top. Because in reality, multiplying by 1, changing what it looks like, not changing the value overall. But again, simplified, not simplified. Okay, so we can also go in the reverse. I can take an expression like this and simplify it down to a nicer form. First example we're going to look at, negative 18y over 4y. So is there anything in common, let's just talk about the constants first, between 4 and 18 that we could take out of both of them. Factor of... 2, and then looking at the variables, is there anything else that we could take out of both of them? A factor of y. So if I take 2y out of negative 18y, what am I left with? Negative 9. And if I take 2y out of 4y, what am I left with? My y's are going to be gone. I took 2 out of 4, so I'm left with 2. Again, same thing divided by the same thing, it's going to be gone. So, simplified version, equivalent expression is negative 9 over 2. Let's look at that second one. If 
part B. 21AB over 42A. Is there anything in common between the constants that I can take out of both of them? Factor of 21. And what else can I take out of both the numerator and the denominator? Factor of A. So what am I left with? I took 21A out of the numerator, so I'm left with B. And I took 21 out of 42, so I've got a factor of 2 left. And I took A out of A, so that's already gone. So this guy simplifies to B over 2. But again, they're equivalent. Sometimes we want to work with a more complicated form. Usually at the end of a problem, we want it as simplified as far as we can go. So go ahead and take those two tries. Simplify them. So, common between 18 and 27 that you could take out of both was a factor of 9. What else could you take out of the numerator and the denominator? Factor of m. So if I take 9m out of both numerator and denominator, what am I left with? So up here, I took out m. Those are going to be gone. I took 9 out of 18. We'll be left with 2. 9 out of 27, we're left with 3, and I still have that variable n to deal with. So again, same thing divided by the same thing, going to be gone. That expression is equivalent to 2 over 3n. And what about part b? We could just do the division. What is 50 divided by 10? We get out 5 up top, but I still have this z in the denominator to deal with. He didn't go anywhere. So we could have broken it up into 5 times 10, 10 times z, if you need to see it in that way. Or we can just do the division between the constants and then deal with the variables at the end. 